Hi guys, Mr. Rain here. Welcome to my Son of a Witch boss tutorial guide. Now this is going to be a full playthrough because you kind of have to prepare for this battle the entire time you're playing. And it was the first time I've actually had to strategically plan for a battle because I've been playing it on easy to try and get the collectible guides up. This is the way it has been. So let me show you quickly what I'm kind of using here. I recently found this weapon absolutely slapping liquid cooling out. It is a beast of a fire rate and as you can see the damage is quite hefty. This is my secondary weapon because I kept on running out of ammo against the Son of a Witch fight and uh, I thought I'd need to use that for uh, some uh, smaller boss battles or some smaller battles before we get there but you do get refilled ammo before you head there so you can have a look at these not too bad gear but uh, obviously not the best I'm wanting to get the loot luck up the loot drop uh, increased luck rate because uh, that is something quite hefty and you can get a 30 percent increase in loot um, from a, a pendant in uh, the tangle drift as well but uh, that's my favorite one the cloudburst arc i've used that for the entire game absolutely amazing you can do 4000 damage pretty damn quickly and then of course the uh, shield attacker if you will uh, against the armor at least not the shield so that is pretty much what i'm using um, now i'm going to play from start to finish and you can check the timeline if you want to jump to the battle but uh, during the battle as well uh, well during the lead up to the battle i do purchase various gun upgrades and uh, I, I must have made the right decisions because uh, this battle destroyed me for uh, almost two hours and then i came back and i got him second chance bang straight away so uh, I'll, I'll list them in the description as well but uh, if you do have a look at that then uh, be sure to smash that like button for me guys it really helps the channel um, i know i did show level 7 over there at the start i recorded that intro after i finished level 6 so this is going to be the start of chaos level 6 run and uh, again you can check the description for timestamps and for some more information of what uh, upgrades i bought and lastly just before i get to the final battle i'll give you some tips before we get into there so don't worry i will give you some idea of what i did differently uh, from the first time i tried this so guys and girls enjoy the video and i'm going to catch you at the end
vitality. It's
Four villains must fall before I'm ready. All right, guys, so this is how close I came on my second attempt at this guy after doing all the, all the upgrades. As you can see, I tried to kill him to get myself, make myself uh, revive, but uh, I failed. I couldn't find anyone to shoot. I was absolutely gutted, thinking I would never get there again, but I managed to get him on the next run. Unlucky stuff right there. Okay, so my main tip I can give is to 100% avoid his attacks. I know that sounds stupid, but they are easily avoidable just by standing behind something. And I'll illustrate that very clearly here. If I get hit by one of those purple things that he throws at me, I am screwed. I was looking for some more ammo uh, refills here. <laughs> Not the case. Okay, son of a bitch is going to be next. Son of a witch. Now, that purple stuff that he's shooting at me... One of those hits me and I'm screwed. So I just used that time when he was shooting to charge my, my spells. Both of them, if I can, come out from behind and electrocute him. And then just absolutely go to town with a weapon that does at least the damage that I showed you in the beginning. And uh, as you can see, I mean, I didn't even upgrade the weapon at all. It was just the, the things that I bought uh, on the way up here. The weapon damage, the spell damage increase. All of that helps. 100% helps and uh, it was very clear to me that buying those upgrades on the way to this battle was the difference between winning and losing now I'm actually I'm going through his head as well as you can see there's just an array of criticals there so sure it's gonna take some skill to get this but um, I didn't think I would ever be able to pass this after trying for so many hours the first time and then uh, playing an app an actual run of a chaos mode with the intention of fighting him at the end changed everything just a little you know luck favors the prepared type thing and in the end, I got him down damn quickly. And uh, I was very stoked to get him down because uh, 
I wasn't amped to sit here for another couple of hours and actually do this. And uh, the last time I got a bit too cocky and I went out like this and I'm, this time I'm like, nope, just stay behind cover, wait for him to finish shooting and then come out. Now he does turn into a little skeleton afterwards, but uh, I don't even think he hit me once with that. It wasn't any issue right here, he goes underground. Just keep your distance from him. If you shoot him a little bit, he'll burrow underground again and then he'll pop up somewhere else. Just watch your mini map there. So guys, again, I know I said before, but if you have any questions on this, just ask me. I'm always going to reply. And uh, please smash that like button if you are enjoying the content. I'm going to do a full tutorial on all those uh, secret skull locations I was collecting during this run. And they can give you, it could have been the, the difference between winning and losing this, having enough of those crystals in the end to buy the final upgrade. So guys, once again, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I want to catch you on the next one.